Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to export HTML in Godot 4 and run in browser on itch.io. To start off, we probably want to turn down to compatibility mode. This will allow for, well, as the name implies, better compatibility between platforms, uh, especially when you're going onto the web, there is a lot less resources to be passed around. So we're gonna go ahead and convert to compatibility mode. This will restart your project. And what this will do is it will disable certain features, so such as Glow. So you need to make sure your project is set up to support the change in rendering technology. You, there are alternatives, and if you really need those mechanics or, or those functions of Godot, I suggest staying with forward or mobile mode so that way you don't run into issues. But after that, we go to Editor. Manage export templates just like we did in the exe video. Click official GitHub releases. This is what I found to be the fastest. Download and install. All right, next, we're going to close out this. Go over to project export. We're going to add a new web HTML. And most of these settings are good to go. We're going to export project and go to whichever file you want. The file name needs to be index.html. Save that. Now go to wherever you exported that. I'm going to create a new folder. Let's just call it game. I'm going to put all the files into here. I'm going to send it to a compressed zip. All right. Now we're going to go over to itch.io. Going to upload a new project. Name it whatever you would like. I'm just going to name it test or tutorial. Now, since this is a HTML file that we want to run in our web browser, we need to select in the kind of project HTML. Next, we are going to upload our zip file that we previously made. We can leave the uh, all these settings as default. We can go down here. This is new for Godot 4. We need to enable shared array buffer support. Otherwise, you'll be receiving an error. Next, going to save and view page. And as you can see, if we run the game, we have our project running in the web browser. If you want to change the resolution, just change this. I'd suggest first off changing the resolution in your project settings and then going over here. And for fun, I will be making this page public and I'll be linking it in the description down below. All right. Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any further questions, don't be afraid to comment them in the comment section. If you have any further suggestions about uh, current videos or future videos, I am open to hear about them. Thanks for watching.